Okay guys, so this is look one. This is the perfect picnic in the park slash picnic on the beach vibe. And hopefully you're going during like a warm weather because this is not this is not cold weather picnic vibe at all. In fact, the, why are you even going to the picnic? It's cold, it's wet, like leave it alone. So number one, the one thing that you're definitely gonna need is a bikini. Now this bikini is just gorgeous. It is from Zaffle and I have a really, really strange relationship with Zaffle. Like I hate them, but I love them. And I think they price things ridiculously expensive when they say that they're cheap, but at the same time, they're actually hella good and good quality. So I'm just like, uh, I'm still waiting on one package from last year. So, hmm. It's such a beautiful lime, neon yellow, like neon lime green swimming suit. I love, love, love this particular type of bottoms. I love that kind of really gorgeous, super high-waisted retro vibe. And I do love the tie as well. And the wonderful thing about the swimming costume, it covers the back. Now, I am one of those weirdos, like I really, really hate my back. I just do back knee scars, pimple scars, just ugh. So this is just perfect. And the good thing is that at least you're already ready. Maybe there's no changing area on the beach. At least you're set, ready, game and match. And then also if you're going for a picnic, there are those like really, really cute, what do you call it? Those, those little rowing boat thingies? Yeah, exactly. So you don't have to worry about being so through because you, you, you swim ready. Now, definitely, definitely, if you're doing a picnic on the beach, in the park, don't wear something that's going to show grass stains, mud, dirt, because otherwise you're just going to be looking like you've had an accident. These shorts are vintage Lee jeans and I bought them ages and years and years ago. I bought them on Depop. So I got these, these were like a long jeans. I didn't have any pair of black shorts, so I was like, I'm in Africa, I need some shorts, come on. This is a vintage Einhorn shirt from my dad's wardrobe, obviously. I think my dad just is very happy. I don't, I don't think he's happy about it, but I think he's kind of also proud that one of his kids loves his clothes and it just happens to be his, his daughter. And he's just like, I have, I have male children as well. Where are they? And I'm just like, no, <laughs> no, they're mine. <laughs> Black is just easy, cute. And then it doesn't show stains when you've been eating and you spill on yourself. You're welcome. And then that's why we've got the bikini on anyway, to add that pop of color. Now, you definitely are going to need the correct shoes for the park. So you want something super comfortable that you also don't mind getting a little bit messy because you might be like rolling through some green grass fondling your lover. And, and also so, something that you can stroll enough in because whether you're on the beach or you're in the park, you're going to be walking a little bit, you know, holding hands with your lover but walking. So you don't want to be in high heels, sinking into the grass, sinking into the sand. You just want to go safe and there's nothing better than a Chucks original in black too, just because it goes the look. Then for sure, you're gonna need your own little picnic bag. You can shove some stuff in, like I can see a baguette in there. I can see some nice, cute mm, vegetables, some delicatessons, some uh, delectables. And also it's perfect. It's like your eco-friendly shopping bag, right? And it's huge, fits tons of stuff in. This bag is from Accessorize. 100% you're gonna need some sunglasses in it it's gonna be sun shining you're gonna like want to still be able to look at your bay without like looking at him like this i love you i love you so much so these are great because you can still see into each other's eyes but you're not being blinded by the sun these beauties are asos design they're fire i, I love them and they give everything a green tint green is my favorite color of all time so yeah that is look numero uno Let's get on to the next date. Okay, so this is look two. For this look, we actually, do you know what? We're doing this in kind of chronological order. This one is your brunch lunch date. So for this look, you gotta think. All right, so number one, it's brunch. Where am I gonna be? I'm gonna be in a cafe, in a restaurant, but like more of those like cute kind of coffee-esque shop places. So I'm gonna wanna be comfortable. I'm gonna be walking places. To looking put together when you're wearing trainers is by wearing white trainers and making sure you do a better job of cleaning them before you do your day because I've not cleaned mine. 
So these are the Nike Sages. And the one thing I love about the Nike Sages is that because of their crazy, crazy thick sole, they do not crease as badly as Air Force Ones do. So you don't look like some freaking pleb. And I've also paired it with some ankle type Nike socks. So I always have to lift my hand. I, I went to the gym yesterday, so I don't have the strength to do this, but I'm going to do it because I'm in, I'm in love and it's Valentine's Day, okay? And let's see, you're going to be eating, but you're also going to be in like really, really cute places. So you want to look kind of sweet and innocent and adorable, but like you could pack it in as well. So best thing to do is wear a skirt, makes it look a little bit more like a lady, but wear an elasticated one. This skirt is from Zara. Then what's more brunch vibes than just looking like a Parisian girl and what screams Parisian more? Mm, ooh, I don't know, a cute little grandma-esque cardi top, like slightly unbuttoned so you're revealing. My top is from Reclaim Vintage on ASOS and then a beret. I think it's ASOS from like a couple years ago, yeah. Now, I don't know why, but I love this whole vibe. I love the powdery blue and the nude with the white. It looks so super clean and pristine with aesthetic, but with that pop of color too. Right. You don't want to be carrying around a really, really big bag. You don't want to be lugging one around when you're trying to find a nice coffee shop. So a teeny, teeny, tiny one where you can fit in your phone, maybe a little power bank, maybe, maybe, but definitely some lip gloss and some lip balm to be keeping you going. All right, and definitely whatever you need, some muns as well, some money, moolah. My bag is a little mini Michael Kors bag. And I, do you know what? People need to stop giving a bad rep to Michael Kors. You do what you want to do, Michael Kors. Okay, guys, so this is look three, and I'm giving you a really really cute and fun activity to do with your loved one which is in all honesty going to a gig or a concert listen to music that you both love listen to maybe that your first song do you know what I mean like oh baby oh baby when you make me do you get me so number one you're at a festival so you're gonna need the most bulletproof weatherproof life proof stomp proof okay and when I say stomp proof you know what I mean, because when you're at a festival, for some strange reason, people just like to step on your feet. So I suggest going for the most badass, punky, gangster in any way, shape or form, but just generally strong shoes. And nothing says that more than, than a Doc Martens. So I think What Screams Festival is bright, really cool, punky outfits, and I love this slip dress. It's such a vibe. This is from Reclaim Vintage, um, on ASOS but however it used to be like a proper slip dress so like it used to have straps at the back but it was just so weirdly shaped that I just cut the straps and I tied them at the back so I gave it like a halter neck vibe then you definitely need a bum bag what is a festival without a bum bag fanny pack side thing I don't know what you call it but the great thing about this is that you don't have to worry about pickpocketers or anything because it's literally on you it's right here anything you need gum phone charger maybe a small little taser you know just to protect yourself women bam thank you ma'am and then you need you do need a jacket all right and you need a jacket that's super easy to wear like this while you're rocking super loose that you don't feel tight out but something that can also cover you when it gets maybe a little bit chilly or everyone's just touching you a little bit too much and you're just like Ugh get off of me and then of course you definitely need some proper shades just to block out the haters and then also in case you're hating on anyone you can hate on them in private and also be like Ugh. okay and these are from quay australia um sorry key key australia i keep saying quay because it looks like it should be quay and quay sounds so much more cool jeremy like oh cool quay i'm like yeah it is a cool quay I just love this look. I think it's so cute and kind of, it's quirky, but romantic, a little bit sexy, but also just generally like proper cool vibes. Number four of the date looks, and this is your going out cinema movie date night look. Okay, so if I 
am a normal human being and if I know some people and if I know how cinemas work, number one is, truth be told, you're gonna wanna cover up, okay? Not like cover up, cover up, but you're not gonna really want much exposed skin. Number one, you're sitting on seats that other people have been sitting on, Lord knows what they've done before you, excreting, whatever, whatever. So personally, I don't like to be sitting on places where it's like fabric and I can feel other people have been on it. Like, do you know what I mean? And you're just there like, I can, I can sense the human being. And then number two, it might be a little bit cold. I know most cinemas are a little bit cold. I don't know if they do that so you can cuddle up to the, like your lover next to you. Geniuses, your little cheeky geniuses. So that's why I'm giving you quite a few layers. So number one, we have on Armani Exchange Men's Zip Up Hoodie. And the great thing about the Zip Up Hoodie is that it zip up. So if you're hot, you release a little bit. Do you know what I mean? And I'm giving you two layers because maybe it's a little bit late at night, you're walking to the cinema, or you're going for drinks after you want like quite a nicer looking jacket to be ready. You don't know what boy might want to take you to afterwards. You might be like, oh, let's go grab a drink. Or let's grab a drink before and go in a little bit lit to this movie. And you'll be like, but yes, so at least with this kind of leather jacket, you have the choice to take off the hoodie underneath or wear it together, but it's casual, but put together. And I love a white leather jacket. So this leather jacket is a faux leather jacket, obviously, but it is from Reclaim Vintage and it's the unisex one. I got this in a size large. I have the black one to match. Now underneath we've got on my Zara bodysuit. I love this bodysuit. I think it's so cute. It's got such a low neckline. So it's kind of a real way of being a little bit cheeky and showing a little bit of skin without being exposed to the elements of other people's beingness. Ugh. Then I'm wearing under, under on my bottoms. These are technically some revamped ASOS Farley jeans. I DIY them myself. I um, frayed the hem because I like that frayed look and I also tore the inside. Look, you maybe you've been to the snack bar, maybe you were smart and you got some snacks beforehand, so you want storage, you want space, okay? Not just your lip gloss, but your edibles as well, okay? But not just that, when you're in the snack bar, like, do you know how much snacks you're carrying in your hands and you're literally like this, with the cinema ticket like in your mouth, and you're like, I'm in screen four, I think, and they're like, no, it's screen two, and you're just like, ah, okay, put it back in my mouth. Yes, this bag is from Karen Millen. I've had this bag for such a long time. I absolutely adore this bag. And then I'm giving you comfort meets coolness meets, you could probably drink with this afterwards. And these are my Doc Martens white, white to give you some consistency, of course. White Zuma boots. I love these boots. They are so cool. They are so different. And then also maybe you're outside, you're not so cold either. And you're not like, give me your jacket. And he's like, uh, I'm cold too. Because boys get cold too. That should be a Drake song. Fifth look? Fifth? No. Fifth? Fifth look. Now this one, I'm giving you more elegant dinner date. You just want to look yourself a little bit funky, a little bit cool, but also quite tailored. So I have been loving, and I don't know if I'm the only person, but I am so, so in love with, with like work tights. I love the way they look, that kind of almost business-esque, madman vibe. I love them and I love that they're making such a cool comeback. I have my all-time favorite silver metallic public desire boots. Now what I love about these is I love a thick heel. So you can walk around, you're not feeling uncomfortable. I can't handle pain for too long. I just start to go Meh. So I love a thick heel. And they're so good because they're statement and they're shiny. Then I've got on my Karen Millen vest dress. Now I love this vest. It's amazing. It's so long that you can literally wear it as a dress. I just love that kind of difference in texture and color. Um, then I've got on my Versace lock. How can I say it? Like almost bulb chain. It's such a beautiful eye candy and I absolutely adore it. Then I've got on my um, Dior vintage crystal waist belt now i love this belt so much i've managed to break it so i need to find someone who can fix it but we're just we're gonna we're gonna be okay we're gonna be okay then i've got my net my mesh netted top now i love this top i think it looks really good with the tights and it's a good composition of the two however i wish it was more of a tight material 
not so much fish netty but I still think it looks so cool together this is from Urban Outfitters and I love it I don't know the name of the brand but it's great and also black or dark colors are just great because you're not worried about food stains okay guys so this is the sixth date now this one is more of going to the club afterwards going to dance so i have paired this beautiful little if i do say so myself because i made it this gorgeous red kind of asymmetrical wrap top and it's got this beautiful ring detail in the middle and i have also paired it with this gorgeous leather skirt now this is vintage italian it is so beautiful and i'm obsessed with it i've had it for the longest longest time it's even coming unraveled a little bit but i will get that done and so i thought if i'm gonna pair this gorgeous leather skirt with anything it's gonna have to be with a leather jacket and i was telling you i had a black version of that white version so this is the reclaimed vintage unisex black faux leather jacket and and I thought what better bag to pair it with than my Zara faux pony hair kind of snakeskin print vibe bag because it also has some faux leather accents and the chain mail matches all of the silver going on then obviously you've got to pair with some beautiful black heels so I chose my um, pointy public desire heels i can't if these can't remember if these ones are called the Haley boots i remember when i was trying to get these for the longest time but they kept selling out because the boot is so beautiful it's a correct sock like it actually fits I'm giving you woes i'm just i'm just giving you all of that so yeah there, there you go that's it now last but not least i'm hot as well like i'm sweating oh my god you're so welcome I'm in Africa and I'm filming this with leather jackets. My AC isn't working in my bedroom. All I've got is my little Dyson fan. I'm dying, but I love you, okay? So let me try on the last and final date night look. Look numero six, yeah, seven. Numero seven. Number seven. This is the last date night look. It's the stay in, stay home, stay not out. Stay with bays, stay with dogs, stay with pals, stay with gals, stay in night look. So I am wearing this Zara old classic tee and then I'm wearing underneath it my Anne Summers sexy little black bralette. I love this bralette. So you're showing a little bit of like, but you're not too much. Do you know what I mean? You could still wear this with the girls and everyone, your girls would just be like, nice. And then I'm wearing my New Balance super baggy men's tracksuit. And then obviously, because I'm at home and I am a person I cannot stay in a house without wearing slippers, I'm wearing my number unos. My super cool UGG sliders with some Nike socks because I'm a gangster like that. And I love these UGG sliders so much. They're just so cool. Hope you guys have a wonderful Valentine's Day, whatever you do with whoever you, whether you're with your girls, whether you're with your guy, whether you're with your guy's guy. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys in my next one. He's really saying bye. Bye.